Blessings, everyone. It's time for another installment of New Light Astrology, where we're going to be talking about the energy weather from the higher perspective as it relates to the higher expressions of the planets and what they're going to be doing with us as we go through the week of December 7th, 2020. Just a quick reminder for everybody out there before we begin, if you ever want to get a session with me, you do need to go to my website, integrativemysticism.com, or you may follow the links down below. And don't forget, on the 6th of December, I'm hosting my Grand Shift webinar, where we're going to be doing all kinds of preparations to get into alignment with these massive energetic surges coming from the Sagittarius solar eclipse, the Grand Conjunction, and Solstice, because they're going to be doing a number on our collective reality experience. Here's a little rundown of what we've got in store for you. I say we because I'm going to be joined by my friend Nick, who is going to be leading us through some guided healing exercises and clearing exercises He's a shamanic practitioner here in Washington State. We've been friends for over seven years now, and he's been very active in his training, very dedicated. I would not bring somebody on if I didn't think they could have the chops for it. He's going to be taking us through all kinds of work. I'm going to be taking us through guided energetic debt release and forgiveness techniques, as well as guided activations for revelation of our natural sacred spiritual skills turning those on and getting them amped up We're also going to be doing a lot of work with a connection to the highest unified point of your unique soul family collective yes the oversoul as well as assisting with multi-lifetime self integration and if you're interested in learning a few techniques or maybe boosting your manifestation and creation ability i'm also going to be teaching some seeding manifestation techniques for 2021 to help you start creating the 2021 that you want to experience right now so you can register at my website integrativemysticism.com and even if you can't make it you can always check out the replay. I will be sending replays out in the days following the event to everyone who has registered. But when it comes to the week of the 7th, what planets are also going to be impacting a lot of our journeys as we head towards that solar eclipse gateway opening? Well, the beginning of the week, we've got Venus in Scorpio, where she's been, in a gorgeous trine aspect to Neptune in Pisces. So we've got Venus now embodying a huge, sensual, generous, and loving aspect of the Ascended Divine Feminine in the sign of the archetypal depths, the roots and the core primordial self in a wonderful link up with the planet of dreams, fantasy, inspiration, as well as its own spiritual host, Pisces. So a very psychically connective energy wave that is going to be going through all areas of our life as we are bridging love and spirit, affection and spirit, and of course even, yes, generosity and nurturing and spirit. And this is where we see the dream seeding, the dream feeding going on, especially when it comes to embarking on adventures and opportunities to actually connect with those that resonate with some of the highest creations, highest aspirations, and highest expressions of self that Venus has already been working on helping us to embody bring forward, express, and reveal. And the cool part about this is that Neptune is also linking in a lot more of the spiritual and multidimensional communication that's going to be going on. And the cool part about this is that Neptune is also linking in a lot more of the spiritual and multidimensional communication that's going to be going on. Heightening empathic communication as well as even a bit of telepathic communication. We're also seeing an opening for ways to start connecting with 
romantic partners or drawing in romantic partners, love partners that are on equal footing, equal passion, equal ability, as well as equal inclination towards the spiritual, towards the depths, towards the creative, towards the magical. And you will most likely also see this tendency emerge and reveal and come forward from a great deal of your romantic and non-romantic companions that you already have around you right now. Now, as we get into midweek, however, we do have the sun in expansive Sagittarius forming a square to Neptune. And so we have this high energy that we want to make sure that we can temper and remember to direct with intention. This is the kind of spiritual lesson that we are all lucky to be having now, as opposed to say after the grand conjunction, because when it comes to working with intention, we do not want to haphazardly meander about. We do not want to be objects in the universe, not knowing how to use our skills, not knowing how to direct ourselves, not knowing how to actually send something forth into being. And the sun is going to be presenting all kinds of little lessons and opportunities with that. And it's also going to show us where we are going to need to be more hands on with things that are getting ready for takeoff. Because with the sun square Neptune, sometimes things can get a little bit too intense, a little bit too quickly. And suddenly things that are, you know, on a roll, well, we don't want them to roll away from us. We don't want them to get too costly. We don't want them to get too chaotic. We don't want to lose control of the very thing that we're trying to create because that's where, you know, unfortunately, certain brilliant opportunities and brilliant windows can sometimes go to waste because all they then they just become that adrenaline dopamine roller coaster. And it's kind of like, OK, do we want a passionate three days in our craft or in our love or with these people? Or do we want some, you know, a passion that is actually going to create life or create a reality? And that's where a lot of us are going to be needing to be mindful and present when it comes to navigating a lot of these shifts. We also, however, have Venus midweek in a gorgeous sextile to Pluto in Capricorn. And so all of this gratuitous generosity, gratuitous abundance that is coming is also going to assist with the transmutation or the metamorphosis of a structure that you have been keeping or a structure that you have been working with that you have outgrown. Now, this could actually be just transforming it into something completely different so that it's no longer too constricting. It's no longer feeling like something that is too small for you to work with. Or it could be ending, yes, creating a punctuation and a transition to a much more conducive climate, whether it's energetically, creatively, socially. But with Venus sextile to Pluto, it is with ease. It is something that is being gifted. Venus is assisting Pluto with doing this in the most kind, benevolent, and yes, as well, rewarding ways possible. Finally, at the end of the week, going into the weekend, we've got the sun in Sagittarius trine to Mars in Aries. And so we have the ascended divine masculine ruler of action in the sign of the pioneer. And we have this limit break going on, a limitation being cleared, whether it's something that has been maybe chronic or something that you have been approaching, it doesn't really matter because with the sun in Sagittarius, this expansion is also allowing you to maybe either knock over, sidestep, or perhaps even just in and of itself, knock over and blow over the doorway or whatever walls are in your way, especially when it comes to something you are trying to do to elevate Maybe your effectiveness when it comes to either your, your work, your spiritual training, your creative process, your educational process, 
The sun in Sagittarius is all about freedom. So if you feel like there has been something maybe limiting a bit of your freedom to take a step in a certain direction, or maybe there's something going on where you don't feel like you have the resources that give you the freedom of whatever you need to be getting done, whether it's the freedom to get something started, the freedom to end something, the freedom to transition out of something, or the freedom to allow something to suddenly become a bigger iteration of itself. The sun trying to Mars is going to assist with overcoming that obstacle, but again, making sure that if we work with it, right, we're not objects in the universe, we are divine creator beings in and of ourselves, we work with it, we utilize it, we're not going to encounter that limitation again. So that is what I've got for you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe because you know I appreciate it. And if you ever want to get a session with me or sign up for the Grand Shift webinar, go on ahead to my website. It's integrativemysticism.com. Mm -hmm.